Hi friends, today we are discussing the one more concept. What are the types of transmission lines is there? Based on length, the transmission lines may be classified in three types. One is the short transmission line. Second one is the medium transmission line. Third one is the long transmission line. One by one, we are discussing. First one is called short transmission line. Short transmission line. Second one is called medium transmission line. Medium transmission line. Third one is called long transmission line. Long transmission line. These are the three types of transmission line based on length. Based on length. Based on length. Uh, based on transmission line length. We can classify it. less than less than eighty kilometers. Less than eighty kilometers. This is eighty to one sixty kilometers. This is greater than greater than equal to one sixty kilometers length. Based on length, based on length, the transmission lines may be classified in three types. One is the short transmission line, medium transmission line, long transmission line. In this short transmission line, resistance inductance is coming. In this medium transmission line, resistance inductance and capacitance is coming. In long transmission line, resistance inductance and capacitance is coming. In short, in short transmission line and medium transmission line, these are the lumped networks. These are the lumped network circuits. Lumped network circuits. This is also same lumped network circuits. In this lumped network circuits means with the help of steady state analysis, the uh, KVL and the KCL. With the help of KVL and KCL, we can calculate those unknown values with the help of known values. This two is same. This long transmission line have two is there. One is the uniform distributed manner. Uniform distributed. Uniform distributed manner is the one. Second one is the lumped networks. Second one is the lumped networks. This uniform distributed manner, uniform distributed manner is nothing but a transient switching. These transient switching, these calculations, mathematical con mathematical concepts with the help of mathematical concepts, we can calculate those values. These are the lumped network, same as uh, steady state analysis. KVL and KCL, we can calculate. We can calculate these values. Next, we go for the one by one. So, transmission line. What will happen in medium transmission line? What will happen long transmission line? How calculate one by one? We are going. What is the first one? Is the short transmission line? Short transmission line. First, we go for the short transmission line. The short transmission lines. The length is. Less than eighty kilometers. The length is less than eighty kilometers. And one more here we can calculate only inductor and the resistor. Here we can calculate only and the resistor and inductor. And one more is the this is the lumped network. This is the lumped network with the help of steady state analysis. Steady state analysis we can calculate the unknown values with the help of known values. Means ah uh, steady state analysis nothing but KVL and KCL. KVL and KCL with the help of KVL and KCL uh, we can calculate unknown values with the help of with the help of known values. These are the short transmission line. How short transmission line is happening? This is the sending end voltage. This is the receiving end voltage. This is the resistance. This is the inductance. This is the resistance. This is the inductance. This is called as sending end current. This current is called as receiving end current. This current is called sending end current. This current is called receiving end current. These are the resistors and inductors. We can calculate kick up voltage law. With the help of kick up voltage law, we can calculate. These are the unknown things. These unknown things we can calculate. With the help of known values and transient uh, transmission line constants and 
with the help of KCL. We can calculate this unknown values. In short transmission line, only resistor inductance. Why? Because in short in short transmission lines, the capacitance the capacitance value is assumed to zero. Why? Because the length of the transmission line is less. So that the capacitance value the capacitance value is assumed to zero. That's why we are neglect that one. Here in short transmission line only coming from resistance and inductance. Resistance and inductance. In short transmission line, in short transmission line, the efficiency is less when compared to the long transmission line. Why? Because the length is the uh, transmission line length is low. That's why length is low. Length is low. Uh, the resistance value is high. So that the efficient uh, so that the efficiency of the transmission line is less. The efficiency of the long transmission line is high. The efficiency of the long transmission line is high. This is the short transmission line. This is the short transmission lines. Next we go for the medium transmission lines. Next we go for the medium transmission lines. Second one is the medium transmission lines. Medium transmission lines. Medium transmission lines. In this medium transmission lines also, in this medium transmission lines, the length is the 80 to 160 kilometers length. The transmission line length is the 80 to 160 kilometers length. Here we can calculate resistance and inductance and the capacitance. Here also lumped network. Here also lumped network with the help of steady state. We can, uh, KVL and KCL, we can calculate these unknown values. We can calculate this unknown values in median transmission lines in median transmission lines based on the capacitance location we can classify we can classify four network modules four network modules one is called nominal one is called nominal t second one is called nominal pi third one is called Loaded side capacitance. Fourth one is called source source side capacitance. Source side capacitance. Based on capacitance locations, the based on capacitance locations, uh, the we can divide into four network modules. One is the nominal T. Second one is the nominal pi. Third one is the loaded side capacitance. Fourth one is the source side capacitance. These are the four network modules. One by one we are discussing. First we go for the nominal D. First we go for the nominal D. First we go for the nominal T. This is called sending and voltage. This is called receiving and voltage. This is capacitance. This is inductance. This is, uh, this is resistance. This is inductance. This is the in, uh, resistance, inductance, resistance, inductance. This is the capacitance. The supply current is called. The sending and current is called IS. This current is called IC. This current is called IR current. This current is called IR current. Here we can apply KCL. Here, here we can apply AVL. We can calculate the unknown parameters. We can calculate the unknown parameters. With the help of KCL and KVL, we can calculate this unknown parameters here one two three three equations is coming in this nominal t in this nominal t three equations is coming we can calculate these things these are the unknown things we can calculate next if you go for the nominal pi
next nominal pi second one is the nominal pi nominal pi in this nominal pi this is the capacitor this is the capacitor this is the sending and voltage receiving and voltage sending and current capacitance current capacitance current resistance and inductance this current is called receiving and current this current is called receiving and current in this network here we can apply kcl here we can apply kcl here we can apply kvm we can calculate we can calculate the unknown things here also one two three three number circuits is kept we can solve these three number circuits we can calculate those unknown things this is the nominal pi next if you go for the third one third one is load load side capacitance third one is the load side capacitance this is the supply this is the capacitance this is the load this is the receiving and voltage this is the sending and voltage this is the sending and current this is the receiving and this is the receiving and current this is the capacitance current this is the capacitance current this is the capacitance this is the resistance this is the inductance this is the capacitance this is the here we can apply kcl here we can apply kvl we can calculate the unknown things this is the loaded side this is the loaded side capacitance the capacitance is available in load side that's the reason we call it loaded side capacitance here also one two two number circuits is two number equations is coming we can solve those two number equations we get unknown things next if you go for the source side next if you go for the fourth one source side capacitance source side capacitance this is the supply voltage this is the resistance this is the inductance this is the load this is the capacitance this is the resistance this is the inductance this is called sending and voltage this is called sending and current this is called receiving and current this is called receiving and voltage this is called receiving and voltage this current is called capacitance current here we can apply kcl here we can apply kvl we can calculate here also two numbers or equations you will get resolve those two equations you will get unknown things of unknown things of voltage and current you will get you will get but in median transmission lines we recommended only nominal t and nominal pi remaining loaded and capacitance source and capacitance we cannot recommend it. why because the nominal t and nominal pi is only the uh, the symmetrical the symmetrical uh, capacitance the symmetrical capacitance is the happen the remaining load side and the source side and the capacitance have the unsymmetrical capacitance is the happening so that the load side capacitance and source side capacitance we cannot use we recommended only for the in media transmission line we cannot recommend it only for the nominal t and nominal pi next four important points four important points in media transmission lines one is the the transmission line the transmission line charging current charging current is middle charging current is middle means nominal t in transmission line the charging current is 50 percentage means 
nominal pi. The transmission line charging current is source side. The charging current is source side means source side capacitance. Source side capacitance. Fourth one, the transmission line, the charging current is load side. Load side. Loaded and capacitance. Load, loaded and loaded and capacitance. These are the four important points in, in competitive bits. These are the four important points. Next, in this, uh, the median transmission lines calculations up to we are using only Lumper network. Lumper network only we are calculating. But in two, uh, two port network also we will use with the help of our two port networks we can calculate these unknown things. Next if you go for the long transmission lines. Next if you go for the third one is called long transmission line. Long transmission line. In this long transmission line, length is greater than or equal to 160 kilometers. Here also resistance, inductance and capacitance. Here we have two networks is coming. One is the uniform distributed capa uniform distributed manner. Uniform uniform distributed manner. Second one is lumped network manner. Lumped network manner. In this uniform distributed manner means transient switching. Transient switching. This lumped network, the steady state analysis, the steady state. In this transient switching, the mathematical solution, mathematical. Mathematical concepts using we can calculate this transients in steady state analysis with help of KVL and KCL we can calculate those steady state values those steady state values in long transmission line how is happening this is called as This is called a long transmission line. Same sending and voltage. Receiving and voltage. Capacitance current. Load current. This is the long transmission line. In this long transmission line already we are discussing. Uniform distributed manner we can calculate in mathematical concepts. In lump network we can calculate KVL and KCL. KVL and KCL both is coming. We can calculate both is coming. Next, the long transmission lines. Here, yes, same sending and voltage, sending and current, receiving and current, receiving and voltage. In this long transmission line, one is the rate, one rated. Rated means nominal nominal values means voltage and the current. These are the nominal values. Mainly the rate mainly the long transmission lines the rated of electrical equipment the rated of the electrical equipment the electrical equipment network is called as nominal values. In tra long transmission lines. The in long transmission lines, loaded end and receiving end voltage and the sending end voltage and the current we can calculate it. Those values, those calculated values is nominal voltage, nominal current.